Hey everyone, this is Hira here, and I'm sitting down and playing some Devil May Cry, the newly rebooted series published by Capcom, or produced by Capcom, a long running series. Uh, this time the game is being developed by Ninja Theory. Um, right now I'm playing the second mission on Son of Sparta difficulty. I think this is the second hardest difficulty in the game. You uh, unlock it after beating. Ooh, you unlock it after beating uh, Invulnerable Chainsaw Guys. You unlock it after beating Invulnerable Chainsaw Guys. No, you unlock it after beating the game uh, on any difficulty, I think. Um, I finished the game on Nephilim mode, which is the hardest available difficulty um, that you have at the beginning of the game, starting it out. And, you know, it wasn't that difficult. Um, can I? No, I cannot deflect that, and I'm probably going to... Let's Devil Trigger, how about that? Alright, getting a little health back, doing not so much damage to any of these guys. I need to work on deflecting these chainsaw attacks more. Gotta work on that timing, except I'm really awful at it. Nope. Nope. <laughs> okay, let's try and... No okay, that will kill me. Um, well, this is a great way to start off uh, this video. Another death. So um, let's hop back into this, and hopefully I won't get myself killed again. But of course, I can't skip this cutscene. Actually, I can. Um, where are the enemies? Are they? Are they here? Um, excuse me. Yes, I'll get some jelly beans. Okay, really? Like, seriously? Where are the enemies? Am I, did I miss something? Um, so, this is Devil May Cry. Um, a great game where you run around in a singular room, uh, doing nothing, waiting for enemies. Seriously, what? Where? What? Did I not trigger something by attempting to skip the cutscene? Um, so this is the greatest... Uh, gameplay commentary ever. Okay, really? Um, I guess we'll just restart from the last checkpoint. So, this is Devil May Cry. Now, I'm not gonna touch, I'm not gonna touch the select button. Now, let's see if it loads the enemies this time. Okay, really? Fantastic music playing in the background. Um, it would match very nicely with uh, the ability to hack and slash numerous demons, but of course that is a feature that has been lacking in this game. Um, so this, is, this has been my review of the Devil May Cry DMC, the reboot of the long-lasting Capcom franchise, um, and we'll give it no combat out of 10. Oh, okay, Re really? I don't want to restart the level. Okay, well, you're going to join me as I go back to the main menu and proceed to boot up the entire game. You will get a good sample of the loading screens in Devil May Cry and um, everything else. So let's hit continue. Uh, here was another loading screen. Uh, the loading screens with black silhouettes, Dante, featuring Dante and an anonymous demon, uh, showcasing the different creative combos that you can execute in Devil May Cry. Here's a tip for you as well, Dante's upgrades can be respect at Divinity Statues, or from Mission Start Screen. Okay, back to the same cutscene that we've seen four times now. Let's see if the enemies load in. Ah, there they are, thank you very much. So, let's see if we can get some good combos going here as I dodge enemies slicing me in the back. How about some Osiris action? Oh, dodge that. And that one. Chainsaw guys are not my favorite enemies in the world. Okay, for real. Can I? Alright. So I guess you can. I've been wondering if you can break the invulnerability because I'm pretty sure that I had before, but I can't necessarily remember every time that I try to do it because most of the times that I try to break the invulnerability of these chainsaw guys, I fail horribly. So uh, it has been confirmed that I can break the invulnerability of the chainsaw guys. If I crumble them enough. Oh, Jesus. Okay. 
Maybe I should have showcased myself playing uh, something like Nephilim difficulty, because that shit is extremely easy. Um, because I feel like after watching my Quantum Conundra gameplay, and then also this, everyone probably thinks that I'm terrible at all video games. Which, I won't deny, is probably a true fact, but I think that uh, these video games, or these videos showcasing me being uh, excessively bad. Which, um, you know, there's a certain degree of, uh, there's a certain reputation that I want to uphold. And um, I don't think that these videos showcase my, uh, exactly how good I am at games. Which is still pretty bad. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's get some air in here. Alright, two down, three down. How many down? I don't know. Let's kill this guy, because he doesn't go invulnerable. That's actually probably the opposite thinking that I should be going for. Save the easiest for last, right? And the finisher! Alright, finishing with a savage combo, that's pretty good. Another one. Another one. Okay, that guy's vulnerable too. Can I get a tech dodge? The answer is no. Oh, come on. I definitely deflect that attack. I timed that perfectly. Alright, let's just double trigger this. Because, um, I need help. Devil trigger is an ability that you get probably uh, halfway through the game. And it makes everything float, and it gives it this crazy monochrome red and white kind of uh, uh, color palette. And then it makes everything float in the air, and you can damage it, and you regenerate health, and uh, you build the gauge by building combos, I think. So let's get a cell. Oh, please kill this guy. Thank no. All right, that was an actually okay combo. I'm pretty proud of that. And then watch me die here. Let's shard this one up. Really? There's more? Jesus. The uh, combat in this game is pretty, pretty simplified, I think. The only Devil May Cry game that I played is uh, Devil May Cry 4. And um, I remember the combat in that game being uh, a lot more difficult. I remember looking at, like, the list of combos and being like, What the fuck? This is like a fighting game, but it's an action game. And then there were combos uh, that I could not pull off because uh, I'm terrible at fighting games. But um, in this game, you only have, like, two sets or, like, maybe three or four. There's, actually, there's a good handful of, uh, of combos you have per weapon, um, but they're all pretty much uh, the same for each. So, for an example, you have like this base combo where you just spam uh, triangle. I'm playing with PS3, by the way. And um, you also have uh, another one where it's press triangle twice, then you wait like a second, and then you spam again. And so that sort of repeats, and uh, they use the same cookie-cutter combos for every weapon. So it's how you build those combos together and string them together with uh, your engaging, engaging combos, the ones where you like speed over to them, and then also the way that you grapple enemies toward you and launch them into the air. You can build combos and, uh, and get creative with the way that you, uh, you kill enemies. Aw, oh, Dante's so cute. He had such potential, and then he just... And then he just turned into this completely vulgar, crude asshole. <laughs> Dante is definitely, uh, for all the flack that this game has been getting, um, and especially from everyone probably seeing the succubus scene where Dante is having his little fuck you war with uh, the giant demon succubus. That's actually a girl, by the way. That was, uh, that was mind-blowing. Anyway, um, Dante, I don't think, is uh, as bad or as crude of an asshole character as uh, many people probably perceive him as. Uh, who haven't played this game. I, I definitely was coming into this game thinking that he was going to be some sort of, like, Duke Nukem, like, that crude of a character. But um, he definitely progresses and evolves, and he has his moments. A lot of his one-liners that he says don't come off as uh, being, like, completely flat and just, like, dumb. Uh, the, the, the motion capture in this game really sells some of those one-liners and gives it... Uh, sort of a kick of self-awareness. Uh, there's definitely uh, a bit of irony and uh, uh, wit to Dante's lines. 
And I just talked over all of Dante's backstory. So he's the son of Sparta, and um, he's also the, the son of Ava, an angel. So he's a Nephilim, and uh, his brother is Virgil, which is another guy, yeah, and we're trying to kill this demon guy named Mundus. And that is the plot of Devil May Cry. You don't even need to play this game anymore. Grappling on my way over here. Killing some bugs, getting some jelly beans. The key component in Devil May Cry. And this is essentially what the game is. Um, it takes place in Limbo, which is sort of this alternate demon reality where demons exist. And um, it's a bunch of floating and it's like ripping itself apart most of the time. I'm getting out of here. And a lot of sequences involve these, uh, or a lot of, uh, portions of gameplay involve these grappling sequences. Oh, Jesus. There we go, and I think this will end the second stage of Son of Sparta difficulty. War Devil May Cry, and yeah, here we go, I'm back in the real world. The real, real world. <laughs> He's a sentimental brother, brother. scene. Your twin brother. I've been looking for you for a long time now. Dude, they got the close. same necklaces. I think she knew that this moment would come, that we would find each other. And our father, Sparta, vanished forever. A fate worse than death, they say. He's never coming back. Like, I just think the motion capture, like, just looking at Dante's facial expressions, no more. I think they're excellent. Where we come from, what happened to us. And above all, I want to know who's responsible for all this. For as simple as the plot is, this whole, like, demon and angel battle, a giant demon king enslaving humanity, um, the way that the dialogue and the characters interact and all that interplay, um, I mean, and the game definitely has its crude elements, but I think that, uh, it's definitely, uh, it was definitely well executed for, for what it's worth, and I think it's a, a pretty good, pretty good story. Or executed well. I'm I'm getting lost in my words while watching my screen go up. Six deaths, six deaths. That's pretty good. And they they're they're pretty generous. That's five upgrades that I have. Jesus, six deaths and they give me a double S rank. That's, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm terrible at this. Uh, at least right now, doing terrible in my son of Sparta, Spar son of Sparta run as I trip over my words continuously numerous times. Um. Yeah, so that's Devil May Cry. That was a second mission. I'm moving on to the third mission now. And um, I have things to purchase in the upgrade shop, but I will leave it at that. Thanks for watching. I'll still be over here. And um, that's a pretty good sample of Devil May Cry. So if you like what you saw, especially the first part where uh, the enemies didn't spawn in, that's probably the majority of the gameplay that you'll be experiencing. So um, with that, I'll leave you. Again, saying the same thing that I said before. Thanks for watching. I'll still be over here, and I'll catch you guys later. Kablooey. Kablooey.